Hi kids, in today's video we are going to start with chapter number 2 which is about scary uncle Sajid. So let's start reading and find out what's wrong with uncle Sajid. It was Sunday morning, Ibrahim could not wait to go out and play with the boys of his community. Cricket was his favorite sport and playing it was something he looked forward to all week. So the story starts with a fine sun. So the story starts with a fine Sunday morning when Ibrahim really wanted to go out and play with, with his friends. After forming teams, the friends started the day's match. Seeing Ibrahim's excitement, everyone decided to let him bet first. Ibrahim took his position at the crease and confidently told the bowler to throw as fast as he could. Within seconds, a red ball came flying towards him. Swinging his bat with all the energy in his body, Ibrahim heard a loud noise. When he, saw, when he saw it flying across the neighborhood, he knew he had hit the biggest six of his life. All the boys cheered loudly. So Ibrahim is playing and he is on the batting side and he hit a very bad and he, and he has hit a very strong six. <clears throat> Enthusiasm soon turned into horror as Ibrahim saw where the ball landed. It had crashed into the window of the most terrifying man in the neighborhood. Now Ibrahim is in danger. He is in trouble because he has hit the window of the most terrifying man in the neighbor. Scary Uncle Sajid Scary Uncle Sajid was an old man who never spoke to anyone or left his house. It was so scary that uh, people used to say that Uncle Sajid has never spoke to anyone or left his house and he is the old man. Ibrahim had heard there were two things he always carried, a stick and a frown on his face, what a monster. So people used to say that he used to carry a stick and a very bad face. Feeling scared, Ibrahim made his way to scary Uncle Sajid's doorstep. He saw the door of the house open slightly. He had an, he had an idea. He could go... He could go to grab the ball secretly and run outside before Uncle Sajid even had a chance to notice. Ibrahim tiptoed inside. He saw no sign of the monster, but what he saw shocked him. There were shelves full of cricket trophies. The little intruder could not believe his eyes. So now, Ibrahim is in front of Uncle Sajid's doorstep, and when he saw, he finds out that the door is slightly open. So he decides to get inside and find out where the ball is. But as soon as he steps inside, he finds out some, trophy, some trophies are there. He peeked at the trophy near to the window and saw it sat when of the man, Sajid Safra's 1974. As Ibrahim admired the collection of awards, he heard a voice behind him. I see you like cricket said an old man smilingly. Could this really be the scary uncle Sajid Ibrahim had heard about? Ibrahim apologized for the broken window and to his surprise he was immediately forgiven. He could not resist his curiosity so he pointed towards the trophies. Uncle Sajid laughed and told him that he had been the captain of the Pakistani cricket team about 40 years ago. He had played against the best players from all over the world. Ibrahim could not believe his ears. The person he thought was a monster actually happened to be a legend. So this story up till now has been shifted from suspense to an excitement. Now, kids, when we read stories, we need to find out the themes as well. So this, at this point, the writer has changed the theme of a scared boy to an excited boy. Now, Ibrahim is meeting Uncle Sajid, who was a former legend cricketer. He found out that Uncle Sajid had to retire from cricket when he suffered a leg injury during a game. That is, that is why he had to carry a stick. This is also why he could not leave the house. He was in too much pain. Ibrahim felt ashamed for assuming the worst about his neighbor before he had even met him. There was nothing scary about Uncle Sajid at all. From that day onwards, visiting Uncle Sajid became Ibrahim's new favorite weekend activity. The two neighbors would sit down and discuss cricket. 
Ibrahim helped his new friend around the house. He would go to the market and get him the groceries he needed. He helped him clean his trophies. He brought his friends to meet Uncle Sajid as well. They all sat down and listened to imaginable stories of the greatest matches one could imagine. Ibrahim felt lucky his ball had crashed into Uncle Sajid's window. It had been a special day indeed. So sometimes we can find positive things out of the negative environment as well. Since the story is very simple kids, so you are supposed to do this comprehension questions on your own. We'll check the answer in some of my coming videos. I hope you really enjoyed this video and the story of scary Uncle Sajid. I'll be back with some more videos. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye.